Oh goodness, this is cringy. Uh <laughs> Hey, what's up YouTube? So today, I'm going to be sharing the top six awkwardest moments of my whole six to seven years in school. If you know me, I'm a very awkward person and not a lot of awkward things happen to me in public. But here are the top six that has happened to me in the last seven years. Number one was in kindergarten. It was the first day of kindergarten and I didn't really know what school was. So basically we had this uniform and I didn't really have that. I wore a black dress and I walked in the school and everybody, because you know like how you go to those Catholic private schools and everybody's wearing the same thing except for you? Yeah, that kind of puts you in a state of paralyzation. So I walked in, I was like, this isn't the dress code. Oh, I need to find the closet now. I need to hide in the closet. If you never went to a Catholic private school before, you do not know how embarrassing that is. Number two. Number two happened also kindergarten. Cause Everything between first grade and second grade was a complete blur. So in kindergarten, there was this girl that was the teacher's pet, almost like her daughter, really. And we were in art class, and everyone was talking. And then the teacher was like, "Stop talking!" And there was this, there was the teacher's pet, and this one kid, that one kid that always talks in your class, like you know who that is, that is always the person that's talking. Those were the two people that were talking. And everybody else was working on their work, you know, just drawing some star or something. And we were drawing, and all of a sudden, the teacher left. And it was the end of the art class. And I'm like, few art classes done. I never liked that teacher. Then, all of a sudden, she, the teacher looks at us, and then she looks at the board, and she's like, you guys got a red. And I'm like... What did we do? I was mad. I was mad, not mad enough to do anything really. I was like, oh, that is weird, stupid, you know? Like, why did I do that? What ha why did that happen? And then that girl that was talking gets on the floor and cries. And the teacher's like, it's okay, sweetie. Would you like a lollipop? To make you feel better and i'm just sitting here like she was the one who was talking why are you giving her a, a lollipop so she flips her card to green and keeps the everything else red so i just started crying as well next comes third grade there's this guy that was in my neighborhood that didn't like me so we were in line for the bathroom and he was talking to his friends. And I'm like, yo, you're the hall monitor. You should be quiet because you're the hall monitor, you know? He looks at me and then he looks at the chart that he had in his hand. And then he looks at me again and walks away. And I'm like, okay, okay then. I don't care if you finish my sentence or not, but my job here is done, really. So I come into class, I sit down and she's like, you shouldn't be talking in the class. You shouldn't be talking in the hall. I stood up and I'm like, um, excuse me, I wasn't talking. And then she's like, like well, the lift doesn't rise only you were talking. And I look at the hall monitor and I'm like, what? So, and then I just, again, I started crying. And I was like half yelling at this. And the rest of the class was just looking at me like, yo, you done. Okay, number four. In second grade, I had this little flip phone, it was tiny and it was a flip phone, you know, nothing new. When it was that time when I had my flip phone, I was on the bus just walking home and this girl was like, fake phone, fake phone, fake phone. And I'm like, this isn't a fake phone. I threw the phone 
Like, you know how you, like, throw something and then it falls and then parts of it hit that person? Yeah, that's what I did. I threw it on the ground. It hit her leg. She got really mad. And I ran home. Number five. When I was in fourth grade, I had a friend. I'm not going to say her name, but you know when you make friends and you don't really want to let them go because they're the only friends you have? That was kind of the scenario. So my friend was like, oh, that's a cute bracelet. We should take it. And I'm like, I didn't really understand what keeping and having and buying and taking where everything in between was a blur. So I'm like, yeah, we should take it. So we came in after school and we opened the locker and took the stuff. She told me, oh, I'm going to get in trouble if I take it home. Why don't you take it home, put it underneath your bed, and just wait for a disaster to strike. And then, all of a sudden, because this happened for like a good four months, where it would just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then, all of a sudden, she's like, we should stay inside, frame this girl for stealing stuff from the nurse, take it home, and say absolutely nothing. And we wrote, it, we wrote it down this little book lit. It was like the burn book, really. Oh, goodness. This is cringy. Ugh. Anyway. So, we took pictures from her locker that were hers. And we took stuff from the nurse. Like, band-aids and stuff. And then we put her picture in that place. And said, oh, she took it because it's hers. Yeah, it was stupid. I was really stupid. We took the burn book and read it out loud to everyone. To like literally everyone. And I'm like, when we were walking back to class, we were, I was looking at her and I'm like, why are you talking about this? Why are you doing this? You're ruining my life. She takes me. She pushes me to the lockers. She literally like pushes me to the lockers. And I'm just there like, I'm telling. Then I told on her, we got this suspended and I got in trouble with the police they're like if you were in middle school we would have arrest you and finally number six this happened in fifth grade I believe so basically in fifth grade everything was just blah where my friend was mad his name was Malik he's one of my good friends and he was mad because he was really mad, and I was like, "Yo, you're a potato," because he had his like, he had his hoodie like this, and like, was like this. So I'm like, "Hey, you're a potato," and so this girl next to him was like, "You shouldn't be talking to him like that," and I'm like, "I'm just kidding. He's my friend. He knows that I'm kidding because I say that all the time." And then she's like, "Well, you shouldn't be saying stuff like that, like yada yada yada," and I took my pencil sharpener. Dad, my pencil sharpener because you know I had a temper tantrum it broke and I threw it on the ground and I started crying yeah I have a temper my big mouth started running again and I got into some seriously big fights it's that's my story for today thank you guys so much for watching I hope you liked this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already the next videos that I'm planning on doing are dog hacks school vlogs, and trying stuff from Wish. So stay tuned, and if you think those sound good, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for those videos that are coming up later in the future. Anyways, I love you guys so much, and bye!